Hi, this is Murray from Second Time Tech, and today I'm going to be talking about mixers. Specifically, the two mixers I was talking about lately, which is this one, the Behringer X1622 USB, and this one here, which is the Alto Professional Live 802. Now, I received this one just uh, yesterday, actually, and found out a couple of things on it. And on my last video, I told you what was wrong with this one here. So I'm just going to compare the two, just by talking about them, just compare the two. I'm going to talk about another unit that I had reviewed before. Uh, so I'm just going to give you a bit of information. Well, the Behringer model here, uh, the preamps on this one, they're quite noisy compared to the live 802 and the audio interface that I had before which was the Behringer UMC 404 HD so I don't like that the other thing is the DAC I knew the DAC on this one was 16 bit 48 kilohertz and I know this one was supposed to be 24 bit and 96 kilohertz, but that means that it's not as, this one here is not as good as this one is supposed to be. And it's also not as good as the one that's on the UMC 404 HD. Now, this one only uses the Windows USB audio codec because that's all it needs. So that's all it uses. There is no driver from Behringer on this one at all. Now on this one, like I had said on my last video, this one is the Live 802. The technology on this one is newer. So it has a better amplifier than what's on this one, but it has about the same maybe as what's on the UMC 404. Now, the DAC on this one was supposed to be that 24 bit 96 kilohertz sampling that I can't use on my Windows 10 Pro because of it using the Windows USB audio codec that will only allow it to go as high as 16 bit 48 kilohertz sampling. Now I know it looks like I'm reading stuff because that's exactly what I'm doing. I wrote it all down because there's so much I want to make sure that I get correct. So the ASIO for all driver will not work with the, the, the mixer there, the live 802 at 24 bit and 96 kilohertz. It only runs at that lower rate. And that meant that the DAW Cakewalk, the one that was free from BandLab that I told you about, uh, I'll link that in the show notes again, because it is a very good uh, DAW, Digital Audio Workstation. But what I found out was the original cost on Cakewalk was $499 US. That's when it was called Cakewalk Sonar Platinum. Now the difference is the free one doesn't come with as many plugins as it did when it was Sonar Platinum. So there is a slight difference there. I got, I'm not a hundred percent sure, but from what I watched on a couple of the YouTube channels, it sounded like that to me, and the guy on 
Studio, not recording Studio 9, he alluded to that, that he didn't think that it came with all of the plugins that it did before. So, on this one, using Cakewalk, you still can't get the 24 bit and the 96 kilohertz on this Live 802. Um, because it only uses the Windows USB audio codec and there was no driver for the live series from Alto Professional. That's the problem. If they would have written a proper driver for this or got one written for it or made it so that it could use the ASIO driver properly, there wouldn't be a defect on this one for that part of it. For the noisy USB coming back, no, they just needed to make a, use a better USB interface on it. Now, I'm using Audacity and learning Cakewalk right now. So I went to find out about what happened with Audacity and the ASIO for all. Well, I found out that the DAW Audacity cannot be distributed with the ASIO protocol because it is proprietary. And Audacity is open source. So they're not licensed to be able to do that. So there's no ASIO for the users of Audacity. And that's just the way it is. Now, I'm going to talk a little bit about the Behringer UMC 404HD audio interface. Now, from whenever I had it before, I looked through my notes, and the preamps are as good as what's on the Live 802. Might even be a little better, because they are Midas preamps, and these are DNA preamps. And they are quieter than the Zenny preamps that are on the X1622 USB. Now, the DAC on the UMC 404HD is 24-bit and 192 kilohertz sampling. So it is actually better than the one that was supposed to be in this one. That really isn't there. Well, maybe isn't there. Or at least you can't use it anyway. And it does work on Windows 10 Pro. There is a driver specifically written for the UMC series of audio interfaces from Behringer by Behringer. Now, I found out from the last time that I reviewed the UMC 404 that it actually has four channel mono channel recording. That means that the audio interface puts out four separate mono channels to be recorded at the same time. These units do not. These units put out one stereo channel. Now, you can split the stereo channel by using the pan or the balance, so that you can go left or right on your mixers. But that still gives you a stereo out recording at the same time on your DAW. And depending on where you put these is what's going to happen on your uh, DAW, like what channel, what's going to come on. Whereas 
the Behringer. So it's not the same thing as two channel mono. And the Behringer UMC 404 HD has four channel mono, which is the equivalent of two stereo tracks recorded at the same time. Because you can do that because they're left and right channels whenever they do the mono, or you can put them all in one side, or you can put them on both sides. So it's not the same thing as what this is. It's it's actually better as long as you know how to use it properly. Which I'm hoping to. Anyway, so my conclusion is to go back to the Behringer UMC 404 HD audio interface and learn how to use it properly to get my microphones on the left and right channels at the same time and to play the background music when I am able to as proper separate left and right stereo sound. I should be able to do that because of the fact that it can do four mono channels. I should be able to do two microphones, both coming out of both speakers, and then left stereo on the left side and right stereo on the right side for the music. Now, it took me a while of trying different equipment to find out that I had already checked out the one that I needed that was the best fit for me. But I didn't know it because I didn't have all the facts when I dismissed it as the one I needed. Well, that's corrected now. And I'll be getting the Behringer audio interface on Friday, which is like two days from now. So my next video will be on Saturday and I'll be showing you the proper way to record with the UMC 404 HD in four channel mono. I won't be able to do all the things that I had said about being able to do the microphones on both channels and the left and right music because I still have to learn how to do that, but I can show you that it will record on each channel separately and that's what i was planning on doing so uh if you like this uh, video please uh, hit the uh, like button and if you would would you subscribe and you'll be able to get uh, more of my videos and i would like to thank everyone for watching and listening and most of all i do want to wish everybody a wonderful day Thank you again for watching and listening. Bye.